Hi guys! It's Liliana the Magnificent and welcome back to my main city, Dukes of Honey. I am conquering a question that I get way too often and it has taken me way too long to make this video, but there are two bars in this game. <laughs> no, I am not bar hopping. I'm talking about these two bars here. <laughs> These are only available or shown on PC, and I'm not going to cover this one right now. First, we're going to cover this one. Next video, I'll cover this one down here. Um, now, in some of my older videos, you used to see this bar a little bit higher and smaller, and then this bar was actually right below it. Um, so this is the same thing, it's just it got bigger with one of the most recent updates that Forge of Empires put out. Um, like I said, this information is only available in a bar format. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, every single time it's going to make me crack up. On PC. Um, I really wish they would put something of this nature in the mobile version. Hopefully they're working on that someday. Um, this information, some of it, not all of it, is still available. It's just that you have to search for it a little bit more on mobile. So let's jump in. Normally, um, if there are any announcements in the game, besides the announcements that are in this official tab, they will actually show up as a little um, colored blue. Um, it looks almost like a, oh, there it is, that. <laughs> It looks like a little announcement button up here, and you press that, and it actually takes you right to the announcement message. Um, I've already clicked it, so that's why it's not there. These next two buttons are normally actually available on mobile. It's just that they're kind of two separate little buttony features and they don't look like this, but they have to do with the special offers and they show the little timer and if you click on them, you can check out, like this one is purchase these diamonds and this is the their offering right now. And then the one below it, sometimes they're offering certain buildings or um, in this case, it's a pack. Um, like let's say they'll put out the Asane Asylum where you can buy upgrades for it for so many diamonds. Then that'll be an offer that they show up in this area. Okay, next. This is really neat. It shows you any buildings that are in your city that are not connected to the roads and it'll actually, if you press on it, it zooms you up to it. So it's like, hey, here, here, these ones are not connected. Um, if you have all buildings connected. I'm assuming this button is not there, but um, I don't have these connected because they don't need to be for my TRAS to make unattached units of them. But that is one of the things. Next, if we zoom back out, um, this one shows you idle buildings in your city that um, most of the time have to do with either supplies or goods, and it'll take you to them. And I have my little blacksmiths that are sleeping right now. So you can click on them and ta-da! Then if you click on it, it'll take you to the other ones. And it just makes it nicer because you can kind of jump around your city a little bit faster. So I think it's fun. And then once you've done them all, then ta-da! They go away. So that is that button. And there might even be more buttons. These are just the ones that I see. Mm. Okay, so this one is your population enthusiastic. So right now, for once, you guys, I'm making a video and my city is not just happy, it's enthusiastic. It probably knows that it's Christmas time. But look at that, your citizens are enthusiastic. The cultural diversity in your city encourages them to be more productive. So when your happiness is happy or enthusiastic, you get more bang for your buck out of your supply um, buildings and also your uh, residential buildings. This does not pertain to your goods buildings and it also doesn't pertain to buildings such that are a little bit more special um, like the sleigh builders. Those ones are set in stone and are not impacted by your happiness. It just really mostly has to do with um, buildings that are specific to eras that you can buy within your building mode. Okay, next. 
These next ones are actually associated with different great buildings and their like power boosts that they offer and if any are available. Now, I love that this information is all in one place on the side in your bar. <laughs> So you can just get drunk off of that information and get all tipsy and happy. No. <laughs> no, it's just that when you are on mobile, you actually have to go into the buildings and then look at the info tab, which is the right tab, in order to find this. So this one right here, the aid goods gain um, a good according to the age of the building you are aiding, 90 uses remaining. This has to do with my... Oh, I almost said dynamic tower. <laughs> it is your dynamic tower, but it is now called the, ta-da, the truce tower. So this one is specifically associated with that. So it tells me right now that I haven't used my last 90 uses, so I do not want to click this button and re-collect from my daily collection because it'll erase those 90. So I need to use these 90 and then I can collect again and then I'll have a whole nother 90 to use because um, I've been lazy over my Christmas break um, holiday. My mom visited, so I've been splurging on Christmas movies. Ah, but anyway, that one has to do with that. Next is your coins. This one specifically has to do with doo -doo 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 -doo, your St. Mark's Basilica. Woohoo! So it shows you how many uses are left of getting to collect various buildings that have coins within your city. Um, and you can kind of utilize that for keeping track as you collect and then utilize your reoccurring quests for getting those goods that I talk about all the time. I love recurring quests. Okay, next, a, I should have two supply booths, and those ones each have to do with, one of them has to do with my Royal Albert Hall, and then the other one has to do with, oh boy, where is it now? I know I did another video, and now my brain is going to be all smushy. Uh, it's my lighthouse, I believe. Yes, it is. Good job, Lil. It's your lighthouse of Alexandria. So both of those will come up here. Now, if you have, which I, I don't have anything to collect right now, but if I had my HC that I just recently collected, then this little symbol here, oh, there it is, information about this boost, the spoils of war boost, that will come up in this bar, and it'll show you how many uses you have left of that. Also, if you have your space carrier, this will also show you that uh, little hand holding a present. It's like a Christmas present every day. Um, will show up in your bar too, and it'll show you how many uses you have left of that. Um, I'm trying to think if there are any other great buildings that a, I don't have, um, and probably there are. So let's check in my inventory real quick, and I can probably like in my mind's eye, use some telepathic kinesis skills. Okay, not kinesis. I can't move anything with my mind. And I'm not telepathic. <laughs> I have no superhero skills. Oh, that would allow me to do this. Okay, let's look though. Um, it's probably a big building that would show me. Um, not a lotus. Not that. A seed vault, maybe? No, that's just always that's just always consistent, set in time. You get a two percent chance, so that doesn't have to do with uses. So that wouldn't show up. Um, your rainforest wouldn't show up because that's just a general thirty-three percent chance. Um, your space needle, no. Stargazer, no. Tor is just stagnant. Blue Galaxy! Yes! Oh my gosh, you goofball. Here, I can show you this one. <laughs> no, wait. I don't want to show you this one. No, maybe I do. I can click it now, and then when I do this bar, it'll already be active, as long as I don't get nilly-willy and start clicking things. Um, so if we click this one, then, and actually this will, this FOE helper will be in my second video when I talk about this bar, but if we go peek, there it shows you your little double collect um, double collection, here's your information, how many clicks you get. So that's really helpful as you're going around your city too. And granted, I can tell you guys, you can view this information 
on your mobile, but I told you it's this, oh, I should have said left. I said right earlier. Oh, it's not your right because your right is your level up tab. It's the left. It's the overview info tab. On your mobile, it'll show here how many uses you have, or even it shows you the leveling, um, or not the leveling, the collection time. So on, on a PC, when you click this and hover, it kind of shows you that information right here. But on mobile, you actually have to go into the overview tab in order to view that information. And it's not in this nice little nifty bar, which is really helpful. And I wish it would be because otherwise, as I'm collecting on mobile, I have to click this 500 times to make sure that I'm not using it to collect a blacksmith that we all know I'm really good at. Okay, um, sorry, focus girl. Go back. Let's see what other ones there are. Um, no. The Kraken. I have not collected my Kraken till, let's see, is my Kraken even available to collect right now? No, it's not. But when you collect your Kraken, it'll also, this will be a little power boost as well, and it'll show you how many battles you have left, and it'll have a little tentacle. <laughs> so that'll also show up in your bar. I don't know why I keep clicking out of this because then I just have to click in, but that's okay. You guys are all right. You're, we're fine. Um, I'm assuming if you have Virgo, Virgo, a Virgo, a Virgo project in your city, then that'll show up with probably that little rocket ship in your bar. Um, I already did that one. The Voyager. I bet that one also has a little fist that shows up in your in your var. Oh my gosh, I can't talk at all today. In your bar. <laughs> so it'll show you how many times you can plunder still in Sunburn City. And also I bet your Atlantis Museum information also is there because you see that little times too. So both of those have to do with plundering and obviously I don't have them in my city, but I probably could for the goods of this one, but I don't need it. I don't plunder people. I know others do, though. Um, so those will also be in your bar. But other than that, that covers everything that is in this bar. This one is generated by the game itself, by Forge of Empires. So this information is safe, I will say, because it is supplied by the game producers. They've made this here for us please put it on mobile. That would be lovely. So hopefully this is helpful, you guys. Um, if it was, give this video a like and you can subscribe to my channel with the little bell. And when you do, you'll be notified whenever I put out new videos. And I hope you had a fantastic holiday, you guys. And I'll see you very soon for this FOE helper bar. All right. Bye, guys.